Ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. And ooh, that's gotta hurt. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Mana Man today. We've got a juicer for you, we've got Golgari chills, and I hope you brought your jacket, because Golgari is getting chilly today. Obviously, we've got the blood on the snow, the lull, the spider queen, and the snow-covered swamps and forests, everything that you usually have seen, but I put a little bit of a twist on it today. we got all the Kamagawa cards, Invoke Despair, absolutely love this card. Now, it is a little bit mana intrusive and really kind of taxes you because it's four black sources specifically, but it's pretty cool. Target opponent sacrifices a creature if they can't, you lose two life, and then they repeat the process for an enchantment and a planeswalker. So we've got all the different kind of Kama Kamagawa cards here to make this Galgari deck work here. Pretty awesome. So in Invoke Despair, it's not that great versus creature token deck, so I am running two. You could probably run three or even four. I don't know. I mean, right? I, I, maybe I'm just being a little bit biased here. I'm running into a lot of creature token decks, so kicked this down to two recently. But I absolutely love this card, and it's definitely going to be pretty gosh darn awesome. So we obviously got Binding of the Old Gods. We need a little bit of mana sources here. It's always good to hit a, a non-land permanent, just in general, anyway. So. We got a Gloom Shaker. This is a new Kamigawa card. Absolutely love this thing. Return target permanent card from your graveyard to your hand, which doesn't seem like that crazy, but it really is. And if it dies, you exile it said that's fine. But it has Menace. So if you've got this Gloom Shrieker, this thing can actually be pretty aggressive here because Lolf pumps out 2-1. Menace spider creature tokens and the gloom streaker is also a 2-1 menace There's actually like a sneaky amount of menace in this deck So you can actually go a little bit of aggressive as well. So that's pretty cool We got old Rutstein. I'm not sure if it's Rutstein Rutstein either way legendary creature This card is so awesome. I absolutely had to put him in here Enters the battlefield or at the beginning of your upkeep mill a card if a land is milled this way You get a treasure token if it's a Creature, you get a 1 1 insect, and if it's a non creature, you just get a blood token. So there's tons of different values you can get, and it does give you some soft mill. It doesn't like mill you heavily, but it does it does allow you to get a lot of extra value. So I absolutely love this card. Undead Butler is really awesome because we can retrieve different things late in the game. We can grab another Tox Roll or something along those lines. Now, there's not that many creatures in the deck to get but they're all but the ones that you do get are really awesome and they're it's not it's like the tip of the iceberg here it's either the beginning or the end it's the tox roll or the eye twitch and the shambling gas which either one's fine with me that's why i'm only running three so maybe you could actually run maybe two but I definitely like the Undead Butler. It, has, it is a deadly dispute target as well, so really, really cool there. Obviously, we've got the Eye Twitch, the Shambling Gas, and the Deadly Dispute, because these are just the, the absolute best. I'll just tell you what. Undead Butler is going to be able to do all those things that they can do as well. So if you, the worst case scenario, you just get a Shambling Gas back or something. It's still not the end of the world. Re March of Wretched Sorrow. I love this card. I absolutely love this card. Deal X damage to target creature or planeswalker and you gain X life. Now, when I first saw this card, I didn't think it was like that crazy. I thought it was like a little bit underwhelming. But in a control style deck, I think this card is bonkers, man. You can exile all these black cards in your in your hand to make this thing cost cheaper. So if you want to go all in on a removal spell, this thing just crushes aggro in its tracks sometimes. Especially if they go tall rather than wide, and you can just crush this thing. Oh my goodness, and then you can feel free to exile an Undead Butler or a Shambling Gas or whatever you need to do. So I absolutely love this card. This card grew on me a lot, so absolutely love it. I'm running Soren, because why not? Running Blood on the Snow, you can always retrieve back a Soren for pretty much nothing, so absolutely love that. I'm not running any of the Legendary Lands because we want to commit to Blood on the Snow. So if you ever need have like a Lolth or a Soren in the graveyard and you just really need the, the Snow Land to count, we, we, we kind of need that. The Death Cap Blade is in there for um, consistency purposes, but other than that, no Legendary Lands. I know we don't, we're not running beside you or the Abandoned Mire or anything, but unfortunately we just really want to be careful with our Snowlands. But enough with that. Let's go ahead and grab our jackets. Let's take this chilly Golgari deck and let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Gavrilo, how we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. Got a Shambling Gas and a Deadly Dispute and we're on the play, so... Life's pretty much good here for the Shambling Gas player. Let's see what we can get going on here. I absolutely love these sleeves, by the way, so go ahead and give them a shout out for that. Let's go ahead and drop our Shambling Gas. Okie dokie. Let's go ahead and take a look at these sleeves one more time. So beautiful and colorful. Gotta love it. So Generous Visitor. Okay, so immediately... Hmm, okay. I don't want this thing to live. That is opportunity number one. So I'm just going to swing in here. I highly doubt they are going to trade. They're not. And this becomes interesting. Do I want to use Deadly Dispute and then go for Invoke Despair? 
I think I kind of do. I think I kind of do. So l let's just see what they got going on here. So Spirited Champion. We can blast them away with... See, we can use Deadly... Di We're going to use Deadly Dispute either way. Let's go ahead and use Deadly Dispute. We can get a Treasure Token to get Invoke Despair. Because this is a 5 drop if we draw a land. Or we could go for the minus one, minus one. But I think as long as we draw a land, this is kind of greedy. But if we draw a land with one of these cards here, so let's create a treasure token. We'll be able to use Invoke Despair, and we do. We do, thankfully, get this. So the Spirited Companion comes out. This is going to be awesome here. Going to be awesome because I'm going to show you why. We're going to blow all of our treasure token here. We're going to take two. Yeah, I'm not too worried about that. This is why this is awesome because this is an enchantment and this is a creature. So we're going to play the Snow-Covered Swamp. We're going to go for Invoke Despair. They're going to have to target. They're going to have to sacrifice a creature, which is going to be the Generous Visitor. Then they're going to have to sacrifice an enchantment, which is the Companion. And then we're they don't have a Planeswalker. So then we're going to clear the board and we're going to draw two one card. And then they're going to lose two life. So pretty gosh darn good move here. And they, they end up keeping the Generous Visitor. So pretty, pretty savvy by them. But that gives us two cards. I don't know. Is that better for us? I don't know. They would probably say no, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I guess I guess as an aggressive deck, that does make sense. They want to keep the board presence, but they just gave us an extra card, so I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I'm okay with it. So let's drop our Swamp here. Now we've got some different things. we got Binding of the Old Gods. I think I would just want to take away this Runeforge Champion. I think the Generous Visitor is annoying, but I think we, let's just... Let's just pack them one by one here. The Binding of the Old Gods will also give us more land to fuel us up here. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand here. It's a little bit out of order. I'm usually not super crazy about the hand, but sometimes it's a little bit too out of order. So Spirit of Companion comes out. We're going to be able to, what, do uh, Lair of the Hydra comes out, and they're just going to hit us for three. That's not that big a deal. That's not that big a deal. We get an Undead Butler. A Binding of the Old Gods is going to snag us a Snow-Covered Forest, so let's go ahead and grab that. Just come in tapped unfortunately but now we're gonna be able to use binding of the old gods again now if they do have a snakeskin veil this becomes kind of crazy but okay no snakeskin veil and now this is gonna get a little bit out of hand for them i believe because now we're gonna have what undead butler some deadly disputes march of wretched sorrow and a beautiful tox roll and these binding of the old gods are gonna what this is gonna give us another forest here rune of might on the uh, that is one mighty companion. That is that that's a good boy, not a strong boy. You, you kind of like see those like chihuahuas or like those little like dogs that pretend to be tough. Like that's kind of what we got going on here. I mean, it is a two-two. I mean, I, I mean, we and we do have thirteen life, so I can't we can't just totally write it off. But down to eleven we go, and now we got a lolf. Well, it's gonna be nice. Let's go ahead and drop another forest. More land is always good when we're playing Golgari, and I'm just gonna go straight for the lolf here. We're gonna tap out, that is gonna be okay. Hello, my queen. You could have such my will cannot be denied. Our will cannot be denied, Loth. We are looking so good. And you look so beautiful, so ravishing on this wonderful day. Restoration of the Ganjo, they go ahead and use the Rune of Flight. This is actually a pretty good card. We do, we could uh, use a little bit more removal right about now, but we still have the spider tokens. The Generous Visitor is a, is a pain. If they get, if they give us, um, well, it already has trample, so I'm not that worried. So they're gonna, they're gonna waste a turn on the Lolf here. So I'm not that overly concerned. If we can just get into like a blood on the snow, which I feel like we can with all of this draw power eventually, I'm not that worried here. Now what I am worried about here is the trample with this thing. What is this gonna be now? Like an eight eight or something with trample? That is a little bit worrisome. That is a little bit worrisome. We do have Wretch of March and Sorrow, so. Um, it, it is a 9-9, as long as we can block, and I don't think they're going to go for our Loth at this point. I think they're more just interested in our face, and they are. They are interested in our face. I'm actually going to double block here just because I want to save our face a little bit. So we do have to be careful here. Absolutely have to be careful here. Down to four we go, but Loth's going to be able to make two more tokens this way. So we d we, we are kind of feeling the pressure here a little bit. I will come. But we do get a lovely Blood on the Snow, and this is going to be just so wonderful. I'm going to go ahead and pop away our Lolf, and we do have six. Perfectly six, so let's go ahead and drop our Lolf. You win this round, but I'll be waiting. A gift in exchange for Full loyalty. I, I, got, I know this by heart now, but let's go ahead and use the Blood on the Snow. Clear the board. Don't think they can do anything here. Now, they will be able to go uh, with this, but these have, you know, summoning sickness. So let's go ahead and grab our beautiful Lulf back. 
minus three, minus three. I will get what I want. We will get what we want. Let's go ahead and get it here. So, yeah, they've got uh, Cave of the Frost Shag and they've got, um, <laughs> well, thank you for the bump. Now that just, that makes us, we're, thanks for the bump. You know, now we can trade with Cave of the Frost Dragon or Lair of the Hydra a little bit better here. I don't think that they can, uh, I don't, they definitely can't go for lethal no matter what. This does have summoning sickness, so, yeah, that is not good. But, Jukai Naturalist is definitely not good. But again, this, of, this March of Wretched Sorrow is going to be able to save us. So, as long as I can't give it Hexproof, as long as I can't give it, like, Hexproof or something, I don't care. And we've got plenty, we got all the cards in the world to remove from our, to exile from our hand. So I'm not too worried about this restoration. Um, we, we might even be cocky. We might even be cocky. Whatever. Whatever. Let's go ahead and draw a card, lose a life. I'm not worried about it. We've got a re March of Wretched Sorrow. Good minions are loyal and deadly. Okay, so I think what we can do now is just drop the Shambling Ghast. Is it, is that being a little bit too crazy? Let's drop the Shambling Gas. I'm not worried about it, because we can go ahead, and I'm looking to use March of Wretched Sorrow, and we can exile, like, just everything. I mean, literally everything. I think I'm just going to do it, because I don't want them... If we have... If they have something crazy, like a, um... Like a Snakeskin Veil or something, I think I would rather just know it now. <laughs> so, let's go ahead, and I'm going to go ahead... Let's make X, like, 6. That just seems like a good number, you know? And we'll get rid of both of our Eye Twitch... We'll target you, and boom, 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 so that we can still play our Deadly Dispute. I feel like six is a good number. We can still use Deadly Dispute on this thing. So we gain six life back. This thing goes away, and now we can use Deadly Dispute. Yeah, I think it's fine. I, I think we'll just kind of keep put here. We're not, I don't really want to swing in. No swing-ins. No swingsies. No swingsies. Now, unfortunately, we do have, what, Deadly Dispute? We can use Deadly Dispute. No. No, let's not use that yet. Let's not, no, not, no need to get cute here. So, a portrait of, I can never say this, Mishiko. So, a Jukai Naturalist is also not very good. This is going to go up to a 3-3. And pretty much their enchantment spells are going to be pretty much free at this point. Um, this is not good, so as long as I can't give it Trample, I'm not that worried. So a 6-6, we can actually block out the life gain with the Deadly Dispute, so that's actually pretty cool. The Ritual of the March of Sorrow, man, is proven good. It's pretty gosh darn good. The way that you can just... I I don't think that, um, blowing up the, um, the... The whatchamacallits. The, um, the Eye Twitch. Why could I not think of that? That's really embarrassing. Don't know why I couldn't think of that, but they can just swing in with these two. I don't think that's in the best interest. They can just swing in for Lolf. That's actually kind of weird to me. I think that they're just kind of putting on a front for no reason. They are. Well, okay. I'm definitely just going to trade with the Lair of the Hydra here, and we're just going to chump block this. And what we're going to do is use Deadly Dispute on our Shambling Ghast here. And yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Let's create a treasure token, because I kind of want to get the Tox Roll of Corrosive out. And I, the generous one. And we can also go for Deadly Dispute again to go with Lolf. I think we kind of want to do that. So let's go ahead and trade here. So we get three. We can do go... What I demand. We can also go for Deadly Dispute so that we can use Lolf's ability. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. So let's go ahead and pay this. I want to be able to use Lolf's ability without having her die again. So we'll go up to four this way. And oh, another Blood on the Snow. Another Blood on the Snow is just, just wonderful. Let's go ahead and ruin their day. What creatures do we even have in here? I think we have like a shambling gas. Nothing crazy. So let's go ahead and just blood on the snow. Blood on the old snow. Sometimes you just can't beat it. Good old blood on the snow sh into a shambling gas. Into some more spider creature tokens. Oh, we can actually go for another villain too. Be denied. Our will can never be denied. And let's just go for another undead butler. Why not? We're having fun. We're having fun. Mill some cards here. We just, we still, as long as we have seven, we're for the Tox Roll, the Corrosive. I'm not too worried about anything else. And we also have a Despair. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand a little bit here. I'm usually not that crazy about fixing up our hand as long as uh, they're like, you know, semi-reasonable. But when it gets crazy, you kind of want to put the land here and whatnot. Plus, it makes it a little bit better for the viewing experience. So, Cave of the Frost Dragon, um, we have, we've got these spider tokens. So, 
it's just not really going to be good. So let's go ahead and just block away for our lovely queen here. And we're going to be able to use Invoke Despair. Itoxtral would be better if they have more creatures out. But because they don't, I'm more than okay with just using Invoke Despair on an empty board. And we'll get rid of this as well. We will slay our enemies. We will slay our enemies. Let's go ahead and drop Invoke Despair. Invoke Despair, baby. That's what we're about. Ooh, that's got to hurt. Ooh, that's got to hurt. And ooh, that's got to hurt. Triple team. Boom, boom, boom. We go for old Rudstein now. I think we're just kind of having fun. I think what we want to do, let's go ahead and pop this. The light is insufferable. <laughs> I love Walt. I, she talks a little bit too much, but um, I absolutely love Walt. So let's, let's go ahead and swing in here. I'm going to drop the Gloom Shrieker so that we can go ahead and retrieve a card back. And it does have Menace, which is nice too. So we can just go ahead and retrieve our Lolf. And they've got to be just so annoyed by now. This has got to be so tireless. So Gloom Shrieker is going to snag back our Lolf here. And they've got to be running out of steam here. We have Reach as well. Hall of Haunting, I'm not that worried about. Whatever, If they have a Hall of Haunting, I was about to say, even if they had an, uh, um, a way to make a creature, we could just drop Toxtrol the Corrosive and that it would be it anyway. Good game. Remember to subscribe to the channel for more Magic Deck videos every single day. Little Jaffe, how are we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. Undead Butler is such a fun little card here, I'll tell you what. Love the Undead Butler here. Hopefully we can use, if we can use um, Undead Butler with a Deadly Dispute, see if we can get going here. Invoke Despair, absolutely love the new Invoke Despair card. It feels a little bad versus uh, certain matchups, but that's okay. That is okay. Let's drop our Undead Butler. Your drink, madam. Let's see what we can get. Oh, they give us a nice, we'll say thank you. Thank you to the Undead Butler. So we expose kind of what our what we got going on here. Sort of a Golgari shell. It's pretty much, it's all on the table now. We have exposed, the butler has exposed our secrets here. So this Invoke Despair is, it's going to be really good. The thing is, is it's really bad versus um, creature token decks because they just sacrifice the creature token, one amongst their many, and then they just pop off. So some matchups, this card is not great, but when it's good, it is phenomenal. I'll tell you what. So let's see what our opponent wants to do here. We still got, what, Binding of the Old Gods on turn four, and we can always go for Deadly Dispute. Don't really have anything to retrieve, unfortunately, but um, maybe we can find something. Opponent's roping early. Not sure what this is about, but uh, okay. Um. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and swing in here. They're gonna go ahead and give us an oops, and uh, yeah, we'll go. <laughs> we'll go ahead and say nice. I don't know. I, uh, is their computer not working or what? What's going on? They might still. Hey, if, that always feels bad though, because if they if they end up winning, oh, we're gonna feel so stupid. So, um, yeah, I guess we can just go for deadly dispute. We'll go ahead and sacrifice our undead butler here, and we'll take the action. What do we want to snag? Let's snag a another Undead Butler. Let's just snag another one. Why not? Let's just fill up our grave here. And we, now we can go into our lovely Queen. You gotta love the Queen. So, our Queenie comes out. Our opponent, uh, I don't know. You, you snooze, you lose, I guess. Hello, Queenie. Darkness will we will slay our enemies. Let's slay our enemies here. I'll Jeff, I don't know. I mean, you can't snooze at the keyboard. I'm telling you what. It's never a good option. Vanishing Verse will take away our Lolf, but we have another one. Fall into my web again. They will fall into our web again. No worries, Lolf. We've got another one. They are not even going to see it coming. Swing in, and let's drop Lolf number two. Can't You just can't do it. You just can't do it. Are you enraptured by subservience will be rewarded. Subservience shall be rewarded. Let's go ahead and fix up our hand here. Let's go ahead and put that out there. Let's see what we're playing against. What, like Esper Control? Behold the Multiverse. They're they're gonna be fishing for a while here because see they're not even. I don't know. I mean, I'm assuming they're running what Farewell Doom Scar, but we've got a lot of different we got a lot of different things, and they miss a land drop and an entire turn. So, not sure how they're supposed to to come back from this. Honestly, I don't know. Maybe I'm being a, maybe I'm being a little bit too cocky. I return to the abyss. You return to the abyss? Don't worry, you'll come back. You'll come back. Don't you even worry about it. So, let's go ahead and just swing in here. Boom, 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 boom. Seven. We can go ahead and pop off Invoke Despair. And we can hit him for, what, six life? That's just not enough. So, I guess we'll go for Soren. Let's go for Soren here. 
and under my watch, neither vampire nor human will go extinct. You said it, Soren. I'm actually kind of uh, intrigued here. Do we drop the undead butler? I'm kind of wondering. Do, I mean, I kind of want to just go for the plus one. If they sweep the board, if they have like a Mihook massacre or something, I'm actually gonna do this. Let's go ahead and just get some more resources here. Ooh, the Gloom Shrieker. Okie dokie, that's pretty Time good. Times call for dire tactics. Darn straight, they do. They can go ahead and clear the board now. I'm assuming what, at least a Mihook Massacre is coming. So if they clear the board and we still end up losing, this is going to be pretty rough. We no longer have our Lulz out. Ooh, they just, um... Okay. Uh, okay, so... <laughs> they might be, hey, they might, they might just be baiting us into a trap of some sort. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, say, uh, okay. Well, let's go ahead and swing in here. I'm sure they have what, like a um, wandering emperor. <gasps> the wandering emperor. Oh I no. Okie dokie. Judgment is fun. But it's not gonna be enough because we're gonna use invoke despair, and we're gonna go ahead and target the opponent, and that is gonna be lights out for our opponent. We give him. We're gonna blow him the kisses. That is going to be lights out for them. You can't. You, you snooze, you lose. That's that's the problem here. The Wandering Emperor would be pretty good. I mean, this would actually be a lot closer of a matchup if they had something going on for them. So wretched on March solo. Oh, okay. So hey, they actually still lose, right? <laughs> they do just barely, but that's actually kind of close. So good game. C-Y-Y-H, how we doing here? Let's go ahead and keep this. It's not like the greatest hand ever, but it's not the worst hand ever either. And our opponent is gonna take a mulligan, so we are going to give them the friendly mulligan hello. Everybody needs a friend when you take a mulligan. So let's go ahead and give them the hello with a beautiful Tammy emoji. Emoji, emote, whatever the heck they call it. I don't know what the kids call it nowadays. So let's drop our shambling gas here. We do get into a death cap blade, which is really, really nice, but we can't really make use of it just yet. Kind of need a deadly dispute, but deadly dispute would be really cool. The March of the Wretched Sorrow can swing matchups. I'll tell you what, this card can absolutely swing matchups. Probably this one is not going to be the one, but I'll tell you what we can do is we can just go ahead and give them a Lolf and say, yeah, go ahead, Lolf. You, you, you take them. Oh no, we lost our Lolf. Oh no, oh no. You know what, sigh, because we got a Gloom Shrieker instead. We don't care. Um, I'm actually kind of thinking, do we actually want to swing in with a Shambling Gas? Like, would you they... Hmm. Do they... Are they just going to chump us? Um. I don't know. Should I, should I swing in here to get the treasure token? Okay, let's try it. Let's try it out. They're gonna say no. Okay, so let's take our free damage here. I'm gonna drop the Gloom Shrieker, and we'll go ahead and retrieve our Lolth the Spider Queen. So I wonder if this is like discard. I mean, I'm assuming it has to be. I don't see why else you'd run Acquisitions, Acquisitions Expert unless you're running like strict discard. So I'm a little bit nervous here. I was kind of hoping they would take the Shambling Gas just in case. Um, so no, just a Blood on the Snow. Blood on the Snow is actually not that great here, especially versus um, not, not against this deck. Because they're gonna wipe away our hand before we ever get to it. So this has menace. This has menace, and this gives us a creature or a t treasure token rather. So and they're gonna do it. That's actually pretty interesting. They're so lucky we didn't have a land off the top here because I would not have played it. Oh well, they're not lucky. They are really smart, and we are really stupid. So they're gonna draw some cards to create a treasure token. Ouchie, ouchie. But at least we get an eye twitch. Uh, it's not great. It's not great here. We can at least use. I mean, now I don't. I don't really know what we can use here. They're they're sitting pretty here. We we definitely need a deadly dispute or at least a bare minimum a land because this is starting to get a little bit sweaty here with all this snow covered swamp. We've got a hive of the eye tyrant as well. Okay, okay. The gloom shrieker on turn three was like phenomenal, but now I'm starting to get a little nervous. A little nervous here. Okay, so they're gonna. Okay, go ahead and take the Acquisitions Expert. That's fine. Uh, they actually did not, which is a little weird to me. Okay. Well, our turn. We do get another Swamp, which is really nice. We're going to need that. We're going to need that in due time. I don't want this to go nighttime, which is the issue. Which is the issue. Let's swing this and keep the Eye Twitch for defense. We're still doing damage here, so like they do, they do kind of have to be worried here. But we are doing damage, and this is really weird to me. Really weird to me. They go ahead and give us the Treasure Token. They know we have a Lulf. 
they know they like this is revealed they know we have it so why would you give me the opportunity to drop Lolf? that's kind of weird to me but i'll take it let's go ahead and drop our Lolf. you require my aid i will get what i want so now not only do we get a Lolf, but they don't get to go nighttime so like that's a that's a triple whammy if they if they didn't do that i don't know what we would have done we probably would have went march of wretched sorrow but i don't we can do that we, we literally couldn't do that right because we'd have to discard a card and we could we just wouldn't want to that would have been an awful situation so thank goodness they decided to block our shambling guest maybe maybe they're just feeling the pressure of getting down to life eventually i mean we are doing damage to their life so so even if they do go for Blood on the Snow, I don't know if I really care because Lolf is here for our lovely queen. Lovely, lovely queen. And if they sweep the board, we still get an eye twitch ability and the Lolf will stay and be annoying and do the stuff where our opponent hates. So we kind of, we're kind of running the same thing. I mean, they're kind of got the Hive of the Eye Tyrant with the Snow Cover Swamp and we are running Galgari Snow, so... Oh, go pull the uh, your winter jackets. It's gonna be snowy. Okay, here's the blood on the snow. Okay, and they take. Will not cry like a meek little thing. Wow, they will not cry like a meek little thing, huh? So we, this is pretty interesting. They take away our Lolf. Um, let's go ahead and give them the March of Wretched Sorrow. Yeah, I think I think we're we're okay with giving them the Rich of the March of Sorrow. So they're gonna swing in here. That's actually interesting. They can take how many creatures are here? There's one, two, so just one. Did, wait, what did they exile? They took away the Lolf. Okay. Do we want to double block? I think we kind of do. The Blood on the Snow is pretty far away from being able to use, and we can use this Eye Twitch for another Environmental Sciences. So, let's go ahead and just do a trade here. Yeah, I think, I think this is what we want to do. Now we get to learn, and we can go for Confront the Past, but unfortunately they took away our creature, so that's not good. I guess we'll just take an Environmental Sciences to ensure that we can get for a lull, but you know what? It's not, we don't even need, we don't even need the Environmental Sciences. So let's go ahead and swing in with both of our Menace creatures. These both, these creatures both have Menace. They're gonna go down to 10, so I'm gonna drop our lull here. And here's the thing. I will show you what ha- Do what I demand. Do what I demand. And here's the thing, though. I know they have the Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Don't worry. Like, I do- I am aware of that. If they use Hive of the Eye Tyrant to swing in, I mean, they're, they're committing so much of the board. Like, I mean, we only have eight. We don't have enough. But, you know, it is what it is. So, they're going to reveal- We're going to go ahead and give them the Acquisitions Expert. These are both rogues, so, like, the, the party abilities don't stack. We don't have to give them the Blood on the Snow. I, I, if I was them, I probably would use Hive of the Eye Tyrant and then swing in with the Lolf. That makes the most sense to me because if they use Hive of the Eye Tyrant, this is Menace, and then we would have the Lolf would die. But I was prepared for that anyway. But they didn't. They didn't even. They didn't even care. So okay. Run, but we will catch you. We will catch you. <laughs> you gotta love Lolf. Just infinite amounts of fun. So I'm gonna swing in with all of our Menace creatures here. Yeah, they're gonna. They're gonna have to double block. And a lot of this damage is going to go through, so... Um, yeah, that is fine. We can either take one out or we can use Deadly Dispute. I think that's kind of what I want to do. But we can also go for Undead Butler and then get, what, an Eye Twitch back or something? Uh, yeah, I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine. So we'll take him down to four. Lawful go up to two. And we get an Undead Butler here. A gift. In exchange for loyalty. For exchange for loyalty. So Undead Butler's gonna give us a little bit of food. Ooh, three lands. Ew, three lands. What the heck was that? Okay, be that as it may. Uh, we can still use Deadly Dispute. Yeah, it's fine. We can use Deadly Dispute on our Undead Butler, or if not, uh, we can just get back an Eye Twitch. I guess the Eye Twitch is better than nothing. We can still get Confront the Past. Confront the Past is still pretty good if they don't exile our Lulf. They gotta be careful here though, because obviously they can't just pump up the hive of the eye tyrant now, because they're low on on um what's this thing called? Life. That's what it is. Right. I was thinking Lolf. Lolf life. Come on, you 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 kinda you kinda see what I'm getting at here. I don't know what they're gonna do. I mean they could go for blood on the snow, but if they go for blood on the snow on the creatures rather than the planeswalkers, I don't know, they're not they can't be they can't be sitting too pretty here. 
Um, yeah. I'm thinking. Well, so inscription of ruin. I oh, okay. So target opponent discards two cards. We might as well make use of this. Make use of this creature because it's gonna die anyway. And they're gonna go ahead and get what an acquisitions expert back. I will call the weak. Okay. Um. Okay. So discard two cards now. I don't really care about Blood and Snow. Blood and Snow is not really that good here. I think we actually... We don't have Lethal just yet, right? I guess we'll do, go ahead and do this. No, we kind of want the Eye Twitch, though. Nah, we don't want the Eye Twitch. We can always get that back with Deadly Dispute. Deadly Dispute gives us the most, but it's all gone anyway, so... We can go ahead and use Deadly Dispute, and they're gonna. we can only give them one card. So let's go ahead and use Deadly Dispute here, because we, we don't have Lethal. We won't be able to have Lethal, so we're going to need a little bit more Firepower. Use the Undead Butler... Because if they had only My one creature left, we'd be all right. Annihilation. So ooh, let's just take the eye twitch, and then we'll be able to draw two more cards. And what do we want to give them? Um, only one card. So I guess we'll just give them the undead butler. Okay. Oof. That that took some brain power, but I think we I think we pulled through with the most opt. We, we did it. We did it. Let's go. So we're back here at the Pie Dye with the post game wrap, and definitely gotta say that this deck performed very, very well. I am very pleased with it, and it was a blast to play. Though, um, one thing that maybe you could probably do is maybe take down Undead Butler to two, and then put up Invoke Despair to three. The thing, the problem with Invoke Despair is once you get into a creature matchup where they have a lot of tokens or just spam a lot of weenies, it, it, it does become kind of bad, but again, no, it's, uh, maybe I'm just being biased because I just ran into those, but the Invoke Despair is really, really good, and it came up clutch. When it's good, it is great. When it's bad, it's horrible. I guess that's kind of the way to say it, but um, yeah, I love, love this card. I love this deck. Um, yeah, I'm not really sure what I would change. Maybe just the Undead Butler and another Invoke Despair. But other than that, it's pretty gosh darn awesome. Go ahead and leave me a like. The button looks just like this. It helps out the channel tremendously. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe down below. Tell me how ugly I am. Just do something because every comment helps out the algorithm, and I really appreciate it. But until then, I'll see you on the next episode. Man to man. Out.